That was so stupid of me. I bought that talk of friendship. The stupid musketeer saying, just you wait, and we'll get even. I wonder though, why did Pavel go through the trouble of trapping me? I'm currently at the red. Yeah, because I'm a Spartan, bro. At war, that's why. You know what? It had me fooled because I thought I could trust the guy too. Now I was actually starting to like him. But the moment the guard showed up, it was like something's not right here. This is wow. Hey, stop that, bleh! It's just being over enthusiastic, you know? Artyom, look, I think of you as my friend, really. But as a soldier, you understand that I had to follow my orders and bring you here, okay? Now, you're under arrest, but perhaps it's not the end of the line for you. I hope. I am going to stab you. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. And he's an officer, too. At ease, Tavarish. So, you're doing good here? Are you not? Yes, sir. Comrade Moskvin is here, inspecting the troops. The Secretary General here? What about Comrade Korba? Yes, sir. Comrade General is here, too. Opa, it's my lucky day, huh? Okay, things are moving faster than we anticipated. Look, Artyom, you're a smart guy, so you understand there is no such thing as coincidence. You are here because we need you and you have information. So, my advice to you, my friend, cooperate. Okay? But don't worry, I got your back. Because we are what? Musketeers! All for one, and one for all. But your comrades in the order, their motto is all for us. War is coming, my friend. That bunker you guys found, whoever controls it survives and fuck the rest of us. But we have been preparing for this. And I want you to join us, my two. No. I'm actually a Spartan, so I'm part of a different faction. So these are the Reds, and then there's Nazis as well, believe it or not. Good day, Comrade General. Comrade Morozov, I was beginning to think you had not survived your mission. I was captured, Comrade Corbett. This stranger here uh, saved me. What a coincidence. He's Nitsky. You're one of the Spartan Rangers. Do you know this man? Yes, sir. His name is Artyom. Oh, you're the traitor. Miller trusts him. They found the six together. He's also earned several commendations since officially enlisting with the order. Well, I am overjoyed to meet you, Comrade Artyom. I think we both have something to offer. Take the comrade to the negotiation room. He's a, sp he's a spy. That's the Lensky character from the beginning. Young man. Let's dispense with the evil doctor of probing and cutting the chains. Hmm? This telepathic mutant, the so-called Dark One, is of extreme scientific significance. Tell me all you know about it, and I will allow you to keep your life and your job with the Rangers. But, as my spy, an operative. Just like those uh, musketeers. One for all, and all for... Secretary General Comrade Moskvin. Corbut. I need a moment. And what do we have here? Another enemy of the revolution? <laughs> Perfect. As you have always noted, Lunium must start learning how to improve his uh, people skills. As a matter of fact, we were... Ah, put away your truth serums. I'll show you a more traditional Red Army method. Faster and more effective. You shit! Spill your guts now! Tell everything you know of these six! Huh? A Russian that looks like Adolf, that's hilarious. Oh, fuck! Still nothing, huh? <laughs> okay, bitch! You talk, or I'll fry your balls in pig fat! Passwords, code names, operation protocols! What are you doing, Dad? This is called interrogation, Lonya. Interrogation. Business as usual. What? You never did that playing dolls? No! You little shit! There's no power without blood! There is! Your brother ruled peacefully, 
and they still love him. Get back here! You're a thug. God damn it! Butcher. All right. Use your drugs. Use hot pokers. Just get everything out of him and shoot the bastard. And then come to my office. We must talk. Come back here! You may be my son. Oh, I must agree with Leon. Brutality is a crooked path to information. I believe in science. One injection and you will tell us everything. I need you to go to Venice and take care of the locals who made the delivery. This will not be a cash payment. Understand? Completely, sir. And uh, what about the dark one? The creature has been located. The details are in this envelope. You will pick up the animal right after you go to Venice. Don't disappoint me this time. I won't, Comrade General. I, uh, I won't. Fuck Corbett! Fuck my father! And Marosa! And the revolution and my own future! I'd rather be shot and end up like father, killing his own brother! Listen, if you get out of here, just, well, just live! Here! Get in there! This is the way to freedom! Believe me, I know. <laughs> I spent all my childhood hiding from my father in those vents! I have to take your word for it. Was it a creepy tunnel? I love it. Good luck to you. This actually takes place in post-apocalyptic uh, Moscow, so the year is 2034. So, bombs fell, nuclear war, mutants rise from radiation, and there's several different factions. There's bandits, you know, typical. And then you have the three main ones, which is the Spartans. Let's talk. Which is what I'm About part the of. Negotiations in Polis? Uh, Hang on, I'm just so trying to already see. know. I am the head of intelligence after all. Then why did you let the information leak? Damned refugees. Polis, Hansa, and even the fucking Nazis already know about our plans. The rats will be exterminated. And war is inevitable anyway. Inevitable? I have my doubts. So does the Politburo. A doubtful man is a fearful man. How dare you! You're the head of state security and you report to me! Yes, but now, when we are one step away from a unified Red Metro, you have no right to disrupt the plan. I have no right? I'm... Moscovin. When you asked me how to deal with your elder brother when he was still the Secretary General, I helped you. And after his tragic day, I bucked your takeover. So I suggest you take my advice again. This is unacceptable. It's very simple, Comrade Moskvin. We all stand together, arms linked against the wind. Or it's every man for himself. But, Corbett, is this whole fucking metro truly worth the blood we're going to spill? I have a way of doing it without spilling any blood. No blood, you say? All right. Go do your trick. I'll handle the police bureau. Time to get moving. 
cuts. One of these days. Yeah, so basically when the bombs fell... A frontal assault is hopeless. But if we go underground in the church, advance through the catacombs, then attack from the rear, we should encounter little or no resistance. Then we just have to do a sweep. Attention! Comrade General! Soldiers, you are trusted with an important mission. Each group has its task, and you have been told only what you need to know to succeed. But remember that this operation is top secret. And you must not be taken alive by the enemy. I hope that I am understood. Questions? Can we use radios after we capture the assigned ducts? Only in case of emergency, and on a scrambled frequency. If we're faced with strong enemy counterattacks, do we hold the positions or fall back? Hold them. Anyway, the enemy is unlikely to mount an effective counteroffensive. Comrade General! We have been issued a banner along with the other gear, but we were also made to remove all our markings. We will leave no trace of our operation. Only upon victory and receipt of the following signal will you raise your banner over the captured targets. Further questions? No, Comrade General. Good luck then. Serving the red line! Long line! line. Yeah, so basically when the bombs fell, everybody retreated to the metro stations under Moscow, and that's where they essentially hid. Now I am in a real spider-infested catacombs, where the General Secretary Moskvin does not look like the head spider. That title clearly belongs to General Corbett. I sure would like to know what's on his mind. What did Lesnitsky bring him from D6? What's going to destroy the enemies of the revolution? Only questions, and no answers. The only thing that is clear, Pavel has information on the Dark One, which makes him my current target. So the station that's right next, there's Polos, that's where I need to get to. Yeah, so basically there's nuclear war, and the bombs fell, you know, that kind of online statement, and then everybody retreated under the Moscow stations in, yeah, the metro stations in the Moscow, and for the past 20 years, that's where everybody's hid. But in that process, there's been factions that have kind of formed, so the Reds, which is basically a communist-led faction, you know, the Soviet era kind of days. We have the, <laughs> we have the Fourth Reich, which is basically a reincarnation of Nazi Germany, but Russian, believe it or not. And then we have, like, as I mentioned, the Spartans, which are here to bring, essentially, order to the place, and are kind of like the neutral faction, but they aim to help others. And then you have bandits and others, too. So, so basically, if you look here, underneath the writing, these are all different metros. Which are, you know, owned by people and operated by the different factions. So the one, as you can see above, Reich, that's where the Nazis are. And then currently that's for where I am is the Reds, and then the one next to it is owned by the Spartans. But like, these tunnels and metros go for a long while. And in there, there's like mutants that have broken through, so... Which I explained earlier was caused by the, uh, the radiation. Massive amounts of it. The Dark Ones, they're like an extraterrestrial being. So... It's, it's, it's kind of, it's an interesting mix of how they combined all this. <laughs> a damage Alton. I love it. Escape the red line, find a way to the armory. I'm just gonna see if I can collect some stuff. Incendiary grenade. Spare filters. And gas mask. Hell 
Haha, <laughs> exactly, my friend. You're catching on. That's just what they're called, essentially, the Spartans. Yeah, but nope, you're catching on. That's exactly what I am. Looks like an interesting shotgun, but I like this one currently. So I'll keep it. Yourself. I'll go stand there around the corner. This your pants already? <laughs> then watch a real man. Well, if you're a real man, why are your hands shaking? Hands don't mean shit. The important thing is nothing else shakes. Okay. Composed. Composed. <sighs> the red After our knives. The red. <laughs> huh? What was that? Oh, you will know because you're dead. <gasps> A Kalashnikov! Alright, boys, you already know what's happening. Getting rid of this shit again. Hee hee hee, let's go. I have now an AK, and I am happy. Okay, there's one on the guard, that one down here. I have an AK now. What is your favorite game from 2019 that I played? That's a tough one, because for most of 2019, I played Rainbow Six Siege, which is a game that I still love to this day. Come in, oh. Make up your minds already. First you order a patrol, then you expect me to sit here. But then when uh, Modern Warfare came out, Come in. my hype, it, basically, my excitement to get to back in the Call of Duty world was kind of rejoiced at that moment. There's a key. So there is a safe nearby. That's kind of a tough question to ask for, answer from my, my perspective, really. Reporting. Group 8 left the facility using Tunnel 2. Roger that, second floor. Carry on. Hey, what's up? Sorry, I had to get a messy, but it's not a really way. Ah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to decide between the two. I don't exactly know. Because, like I said, I played Rainbow Six Siege for like the majority of 2019. But like Modern Warfare was definitely some hype. Like I enjoyed that a lot when it got when it released. Now let me look for a safe here. There should be some. Actually, I'm gonna check upstairs. I don't think there was one up here. Now, since you asked me, I'm gonna return the favor. So, what was your favorite from 2019? Actually, to add, to go along with that question, what are you, what are you looking forward to in terms of games for 2020? Because one of the ones I'm definitely looking forward to is uh, Cyberpunk 2077. That looks really good. I have a key. I'm not too sure if there's a safe line around here. Though. Look at this entire armored train just chilling here. What the hell are you doing here? Who's gonna patrol the premises? Me alone? Come on, get to work, all of you. Yes, sir. Let's cut the power. Did you take care of the rats? I want them all burnt. Commander, we're not Nazis. Shooting is one thing, but we can't burn people alive. What do you mean, people? Shootings? Are you out of it? Aren't you talking about the refugees? What refugees? Let the special department handle them. I'm talking real rats, tails and all. They multiply like crazy. What? Yes, sir. Huh? 
Hey. Are you kidding? Really? Okay, they don't know where I am, so as long as I keep quiet. Travel. Never mind. It's locked. I found a key in the other room, Let's but I just. Let's move out and find the fuck. Hey, you, capitalist, surrender, and you'll be tried according to revolutionary law. Hey, you. Don't tell me, buddy, just spotted me. Because if you did, that's kind of bold. That's an alarm, that's fine. I will look at your comment when I'm done killing all these Soviet synthesizers. Oh, come on. Give me the sweetness. Really? Actually, I have something to deal with these guys. There. Take this. This guy's pissing me off. Have my RPK here in the beginning. Heavy dude. Yeet. That was a good nade, that last one. Let's put these bodies. I gather as much as I can from these dudes. I'll just knock you out. <laughs> I'll break my knuckles on the back of your head. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's a, that's an interesting selection of games. I mean, yeah, no, the the spider the Spider Man game is really good. I actually just like that one. It was a very fluid game I found. And then yeah, Cyberpunk. Uh, oh yeah, the the remake for Resident Evil, which because like the second one got a lot of popularity with their remake. So I guess you know if people are pleased, why not stop there? Check up what's up here. If I just even a place I can go, I don't think so. Let's check what's back here. K, 
Okay, I guess I'll just never find out where that box is. Hey, what the fuck was that? Dress. Mm -hmm. Little stupid for me for getting signed. Huh? What? This is not the way, apparently. So what's here then? Mm -hmm. What? That was new. Okay, because my jet was that way, so there's something here. <laughs> Is that supposed to be the Titanic or something? What was my favorite game of the decade? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, 2010, to, there's another key, I just see it. Okay, 2010 to like 2020. Like, favorite game of the decade. Actually, the, you know what? I'm really confident of this answer. 2009, and yes, I love my shooters. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, because that's a, where a lot of my friendships started, growing up here in Canada. So, easy. As it's as it's obvious, I like my shooter games. Oh, there's a med kit in there. Can I pick it up? Oh, no, I'm full apparently. Yeah, Modern Warfare 2, because like that's a lot of my friendship started, so it was kind of nice. It was a phenomenal game back in the day. Once again, I have found a safe, or a key to a safe, and now I just don't know where to find the safe. Is there one like back here somewhere? Cause my just told me to go this way, so what's down there? And I'm actually quite happy with my answer. I think that's a pretty solid answer. Am I missing something here? Oh, there's a way in here. This is what I'm looking for. Haha, -ha, there you are. Ah, bullets. Currency. I should probably mention, so in this game, actually, instead of using money, because money is basically incinerated at this point, they use uh, military grade ammunition as uh, currency. <laughs> Which makes sense, because if, if you're familiar with the military world, you will know that military grade stuff only goes a long way. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now that I've explored this area... Ooh, what's in here? There's always more to explore. What the hell did they want? 
Probably the usual shit about safety precautions. As if we didn't sign in the book. We did, so what good is that? One asshole got run over by a crane last week. No, he lost an Ivan. I missed, but it's okay, we made up for it. See, this is something I took into consideration from the last game. And they gave a suppressor. Okay, nah, I'll keep it a standard one. Is that like, always explore, because there's more than meets the eye, essentially. Cartridges, but I'm full. Fun fact this hill area is not part of the main story, at least I don't think so. This is a bit of free roam essentially. find that entry point and then let's get a move on. Whoa, I think I've done enough exploring. <laughs> All I've done is really just leave a trail of bodies behind. Ooh, more lights to flicker off. Someone tells me I'm gonna have to shoot my way through it. Yeah, I'm ready. Then let's move along the lead. Get on this way. Nominal. Oh, they do um, Standard. military service there in Sweden. All right. Let them all up, boo. That is separate. A okay. Floor it. Normal. Okay, Ladna. Great, got that. Let's move to the second. One moment. There's a dude there I spotted. Yeah, Canada doesn't have any of that military service stuff. You know, we can volunteer or whatever. More shooting, we would have guessed another That was on me. No, that was a very bad frag. The moment I saw it bounce off that thing, I was like, nope. <laughs> so many bullets to go. Is dude just combat rolling out there?
the intense music has stopped, which means we are good. But now I just have so much more extra loot to go around. Look at this! Stocked up on an admission. <laughs> I mean, given the year, yeah. I was wondering, because Artyom was starting to suffocate, and I was like, oh, wait a second, this is a uh, dangerous area to be in. I'm just gonna keep the lights off, I'm not gonna bother with it. Or lights on, sorry. See? I've learned my lesson from 2033. Always explore, there's always a lot more than you see. I gotta find that, uh... Okay, let me change filters. Artyom's starting to suffocate here a bit. Charge of your shit as well. Yeah, this dude here, just combat rolling everywhere. Like, what is your plan, my guy? Come on, give me the prompt animation. No, I'm wearing, wearing a gas mask. Okay, cool. Thanks for the reminder. And crawl through. Ah. Neat. It was important in this room that I had to just be here. I don't even know how many filters I have, so I'd best not stick around too long. That's a dead end. Also a dead end. Felt as if I just came from that direction, yeah. That's locked. That's breaking. Yeah, I felt like my felters need to be changed over. Might as well check that control room. There it is, see? There is mask. Another diary. That's the magical switch I'm looking for. Crawl through the vent. I was waiting for this animation to pop up. That's not good. How much we all want to bet that there's going to be more shooting involved in this part? Because I've been doing so well so far. Anything more 
Are people wearing gas masks here? <laughs> I'm going to find out. No, it looks like the air quality is fine in here. Is this dude looking at me? He's not, okay. I was like, but he's about to have a really bad day if he's looking at me. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, uh, Ghost Assassin. It was really good to hear from you again, so hopefully I'll see you around a bit more. We'll see though. We'll see what life's taking. So, hope you enjoyed it. Catch you next time then. So, and I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> Cheers. Guess what happened? I got in fight. <laughs> Alright, off I go kill him again. This is like right on me here. Buddy, you just got wrecked by a shotgun. How are you still living? Let me live! How much 12 gauge do you take? There you go. A gunfight it was. I was already guessing it. That's okay though, because I just get more bullets out of it. And you know what that means? More bullets, more ammunition, more people to kill. Hey, med case. Like, sweet, because I already burned through, like, what, three? Okay, cool, nothing here, that's awesome. Ooh, okay. not the AK, but I'll keep this one, thank you. You look like you died peacefully. Don't come to that door. It's only gonna be trouble for you. Trying to play games and people are pinging me. Of course, when I'm needed, everybody starts pinging me. Oh, Aha! Medkits. I'm gonna find that safe because I got presented with a key. So I best, you know, look for one now. 
this stream has been just me finding safes. <laughs> I mean, if there's if I haven't found any here, it could be just in the next area. Yeah, I think it might be the next area because I don't attempt to stay too much here. Boxes for two fucking bullets. <laughs> Fuck you two developers. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to find that safe anymore. <laughs> Did you ever do what duty there? Yeah. Place. The station's nearby. There's the machine gun, searchlight, your comrades are around. There's something rustles with the goblins in the sun. This freezes one. Do I not burn those whips? We do that all the time. In a couple of weeks, the damn beast have everything covered with that shit again. Damn it. They sure are a lot of trouble. Maybe we should just weld the gate shut and be done with it. And what if we had to get to Venice fast? How will we go? Take a train to Hansa territory? Okay. That makes no sense. I'm hit! Okay, I could have sworn I got that dude with the knife, but apparently not. And then I somehow missed the guy in front of me, which was cool. Wow, that was fun. Oh, let me guess, this is gonna be another. Hey, look, more currency. That is opening, and I do not like that. I know. You look like a human with a large bag at that. When I lift the place up, I was numb. Don't worry about it. Weird we'll shit starts happening after a six hour watch. Maybe. But somebody is stealing the parts of food. Hey, Probably one of ours. Yeah. Waiting till our backs are turned, no. then selling shit to Hansa. Either way, the brass better not hear you talking. Who is Fucking it? Fucking ghost there. Well, they've seen their bodies. Guys! The bitch is here! Cool, just like tank two knives like it's nothing. I mean, he is armored, so I guess the word tank can be acceptable. Nice back. These guys are a lot more armored. Can I use the Dishka turrets? I would very much like that.
Find Pavel in Venice, okay. Am I gonna get the Polish station anytime soon? Because that was kind of the plan. Uh, great. Let's just charge this stuff up. Get the sh close quarter shotgun out, and then we can walk. Tell me this looks a lot of fun. Because this looks a lot of fun. That's a hard no. But the game wants me to go through it, so I guess I will. Or the game doesn't want me to go through it? <gasps> Thank you, game! For not letting me walk through that nightmare. But I'm not out of the woods yet. Stay down, or your brain goes splat. Wait a minute. Artyom, is it you?